Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Ariana where I answer questions from my comment section on my YouTube channel. Okay, so for today's video, I will be giving tips for those who are just starting out in IT. So if you are interested to know what my answer and tips would be, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started with the video. So before I proceed with the answer, I am just gonna read the entire comment and thank you so much for this really good question and for the comment. So he said, hello, I am a recent IT graduate who has just recently accepted a position as an IT support specialist. It is my first big boy job and I'm kind of nervous. I've been looking at day in life videos to get a better understanding of what my day may look like. A lot of things you showed in the video are going to be some of my task, but I will have the great advantage of being the only IT specialist working in the office. How long have you been an IT specialist and what are some tips that you can give someone who is just starting out? I like that question so much. That's a really good question. So I'm always getting questions regarding how to get into IT, how to land your first IT role, but I'm not getting a lot of questions or comments for those people who already got their first IT job and just starting out. So this is a really good question for those who got their first job in IT but are very nervous on what to do and asking for tips on how to start out. So that's really a good question. I really appreciate it. I am going to be answering how long have you been an IT specialist first. So I think it's four and a half years now. I work for the Marriott International as an IT specialist for a year and a half. And, and now I'm working for about three years now for a financial technology company. Okay, so I have a few tips for those who are starting out and also best practices when you are starting out. So the number one tip that I could give you is don't be scared to research the things you don't know. It's really okay to Google. It is your first job in IT, so it's okay to be nervous. It's okay to feel overwhelmed, especially for the things that you haven't encountered before. There's gonna be a lot of times when you feel like you don't know something and it's the same whether you have been in the business or industry for quite a while now. There's always gonna be a time where you feel like you, know, you don't know something because in reality, we are not expected to know everything and technology always evolves there's always a new tech to learn out there so it's very understandable and if there is a point where you really don't know or have no idea on what something is don't be scared to google it out or ask questions or research about it, it it's always better to be honest that you don't know something instead of pretending to know something and just disappoint someone because they are expecting that you can fix it or resolve it because you were pretending so that's really fine and it's understandable if that's your first IT job that you might not not know a lot of things but it's also very important to be resourceful as well it's okay to not know some stuff but you really have to make an effort on being resourceful and at least research on something google it or check out some previous documentation in your company and just don't be scared if you encounter something that you don't know okay so my next tip is when troubleshooting ask as much question as you can to help narrow down the issue. This helps a lot even if you are just starting out as an IT specialist, this is your very first IT job. This really helps you with your troubleshooting skills. Always ask the user what they have done so far before calling you or asking you for help like have they tried logging out or logging back in or have you tried reconnecting your connection refreshing it have you tried rebooting your machine have you done this have you done that that would help a lot narrow down the issue because once you have eliminated all those things that they have done then um you can proceed on the other resolution or options and that is more efficient way on troubleshooting stuff than to just keep doing what they have done already and this also like uh, get, gets you closer to what the root cause of the issue is. For example, if the user has login issues and they already tried an incognito and it works there, then 
there might not be an issue with their credentials at all maybe it's the browser cache for the current browser that they are using so it narrows down the root cause of what the actual issue is and it helps you resolve problems efficiently if you ask a lot of questions and you can get as much information from the user okay so now i'm gonna give best practices on how to handle almost all the general issues and situation that you're gonna have when you are working in it support so the first one is after fixing make sure you test or have users verify never walk away from something without testing or verifying so this is really very important it applies to almost every situation that you have no matter how long have you been in a job position this is really important to note also when you are just starting out in IT because we deal with troubleshooting a lot fixing break fix uh, issues so if someone reaches out to you and you have fixed the problem don't just say that you have fixed it without testing it first if it works or having the user verify that it's working on their end because there's times that you think that you have fixed something but it's not working for them for some reason so always always test it out first another best practice is before rebooting anything ask for permission first this is very important especially when you are just starting out um, I know rebooting fixes a lot of things it is really one of the very first steps that we do but rebooting can sometimes be very impactful for the operations because you might be rebooting a machine a desktop that is doing a lot of things for production for like real-time uh, operations for your company so before you reboot anything make sure especially if you're new make sure to ask for permission first from your manager if it's okay to reboot or if it's uh, someone's machine make sure to always ask permission from them if it's okay to reboot this also another practice this is kind of similar to the one before about rebooting so before deleting anything make sure to ask or make sure there's a backup so this is also very very important so if you are trying to like clean up files or just try to delete something make sure to think twice three times always ask for permission make sure that it's backed up before you delete something because it might just disappear before doing anything critical like deletion or rebooting always always ask for permission first that's a best practice especially if you are just uh, starting out in IT they say that prevention is better than cure it's always better to be careful and be cautious than to be dealing with all of the fixing it's always easier to prevent that from happening than going through all of the troubleshooting later on for something that you broke or didn't do correctly okay so on top of my head those are the things and the tips and the best practices that i could think of for those who are just starting out in their new job as IT. Congratulations if you have finally landed your first IT job and good luck. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave it down in the comment section below and I will do my best to respond to them and answer them. And thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you learned something from this video.